And the General Lee was actually just in that uh, yeah. in that uh, transportation garage that we just saw. So this is kind of neat. This building right here, the church right here, this is the thing to look for. If you're going back and watching movies and TV shows from the past, and you want to be able to sort of recognize this area, the church is the best thing to look for. And the reason why is because over at Universal Studios, just right up on the hill there, they have a very similar small town square set, but it's where they filmed the movie Back to the Future. Well, in Back to the Future, the big clock tower gets struck by lightning, so they've got the clock tower there. We've got this white church. So if you're ever watching old movies and TV shows and you see a small town, you're always going to wonder, was that what we saw at Warner Brothers? If you see the white church, that's the thing that tells you it's here at Warner Brothers. Okay. And actually, on the show The Waltons, John Boy's character, one of the main characters of that show, went to elementary school and high school there. And then when he got old enough to go to college, he went to college right across the street over here. So his whole educational career pretty much took place in the town square. Right here. Now, in addition, to the, um, in addition to the town square, there is also... Uh, this little neighborhood right here. And actually, they're in the process, each one of these houses right here, you can actually film something on the inside of every one of these houses. You can actually walk into them. But we don't keep anything inside of them. The reason why is because all these different shows have to be able to go in there and set up. So like right here, we've got a TV show that we're doing currently on the lot for a Showtime called Shameless. And in Shameless, they're actually setting the inside of this house up for one of the lead characters' houses, so that's why they've got all of these uh, these furniture pieces, the couches and the coffee tables and things like that. Now up on our front lot where we just came from, there is a 250,000 square foot warehouse where they keep all that stuff. So whenever they're going to do a scene in here, really what it's supposed to look like is like the circuit's coming to town. They just pull in, offload a bunch of stuff, in a matter of a couple hours dress this up as a certain city in a certain time period, and then when they're done they take everything back out of here. What's neat about this neighborhood, though, is that when they built it, they were very smart about it. They built each one of the houses to look very different from one another. So you look at that one, it could be a Victorian up in the New England states in, in America. This could be a, this could be like a, a colonial out in the Midwest. So you could have one person standing on the front of this one talking on their cell phone to a friend that lives in an entirely different state, film them having a conversation, pick up the camera, film the other person out in front of this one, cut between the two scenes, and it looks like they're in entirely different states when, in fact, they're just right across the street from each other here. So we're going to kind of drive right back through, we'll head on over, on back over to the tour department. You see that everything's movable here, like even these stop signs right here, they're not actually in the ground. They just kind of set them wherever they want to set them. on the ground with sprinklers on them that are set to shoot out a larger than normal drop of water, like a bigger drop of water, so to show up on camera better. So they hoist those pipes up above the buildings with cranes, and they turn the water on, and it's like a sprinkler raining down on the scene. So we can make it rain as hard or as soft as we want. It just depends on how we want it. And for that show, Shameless, that's going to be coming out, it's the American version of a British TV show. This is one of the main sets for it. So this is supposed to be the city of Chicago, because that's a good example of how we actually make different cities here in Southern California. We put things on the outsides of the buildings to make it look like that certain city. So like this one here, it's supposed to be Chicago, and if you go to the city of Chicago, the elevated train system goes all the way around the city. So they decided to put a section of this elevated train system right outside of this building to give it that sort of Chicago look. So one thing to go back and watch is the TV show ER. I'm not really quite sure what it's called in your country, but it's about hospitals. It's like a hospital drama show where, like, you know, the ambulances come in. It has George Clooney and all those actors. Maybe they didn't have it over there. I'm not sure. But uh, it's like it was a very. It was on for 15 years. It was a very popular show. So we're going to head on back to the uh, tour center where we can, everybody can meet up and 